What's up guys, Crypto Savvy here. Welcome to the channel where you subscribe to get daily updates every single day on Bitcoin, Litecoin, and Ethereum. We also look at traditional markets during the week. We're gonna get on with it. Let's take a look at where we're at. Are we gonna go lower? Are we gonna bounce from here? What's gonna happen? Definitely stick around, should be a good video. And don't forget, we have a free Discord group in the description below the video. Check it out. All right, guys, as always, I want to remind you, I'm not a financial advisor. It's not financial advice, trading advice, nor is it investment advice. There is a disclaimer scrolling on the bottom. Make sure you read it. And always remember, this is my opinion, not yours. Um, let's get into the news headlines real quick. Get a feel for the sentiment. Sudden Bitcoin crash sparks serious Coinbase warning. Get set for Bitcoin having. Here's what it means. As price of Bitcoin plunges 12% in 24 hours. Three reasons for the Bitcoin price having dump. Um, everybody always has a reason um, when this stuff happens. They Basically, it's clickbait, guys, when you see they have a reason because they don't really have a true reason. Um, Bitcoin price tanks 10%, wipe, wipes out weeks worth of gains. Bitcoin mining market heats up. Um, Chinese court rules Bitcoin as is asset protected by law. Here's why altcoins bouncing, blah, blah, blah. So kind of a mixed signal now. Everybody, obviously, people are turning bearish now. Um, we have been bearish on this channel. I know a lot of channels have been hyping stuff, crazy. We're in a bull run, blah, blah, blah. And then their videos today are, I called the, the drop, blah, 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 when they were clearly did not call the drop. Um, just be careful who you watch out there, guys. Um, Crypto fear and greed index, we're at 48. We dropped 12 points from yesterday. We're in the neutral zone now. We were in the greed yesterday. You see what happens when people get greedy. Let's uh let's look at the monthly real quick. These two trend lines I have here are for the monthly close. If we close above the 9340, I think we're definitely bullish at that point. If we close the monthly below 8557, I think we're definitely bearish. If we close in between here. Then we're going to remain neutral and kind of see what's going on. Remember, we have the 55 EMA down here that I think we still have a high likelihood of testing. As of right now, it's around the $5,000 range. It would probably be around the 51 to 54, depending on how soon we got down there. If we do go retest it, I'm not saying we're going to. I'm saying I, I believe it's definitely a possibility. Um, if you guys enjoy the channel, Definitely check out my wife's webpage, inkyourimage.com. She's got a lot of cool crypto stuff on here. She does do it all herself, so it really helps support the channel. Um, you can put anything you want, any any coin, any saying, family pictures, or anything on any of this stuff. doesn't have to be what you see. There's also long sleeve tees and hoodies. Hit her up in the contact to get info. And I do appreciate each and every one of you guys for checking it out. Now, let's talk about the weekly if you guys remember, we have been talking about this falling channel. In yesterday's video, we were above it. And if you guys paid attention while I was talking about it yesterday, I had said that the close, if we close down here, and the close will be today. But if we close down back in the channel, that's bearish. If we had closed outside, that would have been bullish. Even though if we did go up, I think we would retest the top before continuing. But as of right now, we did get sucked back into the channel, just like I was talking about. I love the RSI, guys. Um, let's take a look at... So, everybody had this trend line here saying we broke the trend line. As you can see, I had a falling broadening wedge here, um, which we did break that. But the main trend line, guys, this is why I use Wix, um, is way up here at 10,500 and about 10,500 to 10,550 range. Um a break of that and close above it, that's when we get bullish. Until then, it, I, I'm going to remain bearish. Um, we have these lower targets here too. This bottom trend line off of these wicks down here. Um, if we were to come back down to this and retest it, it'd be around the 40, 4570 range. We do have the 200 EMA sitting right about the 5500. Um, EMAs are still looking pretty bullish for the most part here. But guys, this is a pretty ugly candle. I don't I don't think that 
we are going to be seeing above 10.5 anytime soon. Um, I also have the lower targets down here. And again, guys, these aren't a guarantee. These are possibilities. This one at the 28.45 range, which is this trend line all the way back from 2016. And the bottom of this falling broadening wedge is around, around the $1,000 to $1,200 range. Again, I'm not saying it's going there, but I do want you to know it is definitely possible. And don't be surprised if it does. All right, let's look at the daily. First off, we're going to look at the RSI in the daily. We have this rising channel in white. We had the falling broadening wedge in blue popped out of that. Now we are still within this rising broadening wedge. And I do believe if we break the bottom of this, we are going to have another capitulation. And that will bring us down to our next lows, which I still believe are coming. Um, not necessarily new lows, but definitely lower lows than we're having right now. Um, let's look at the... So this was from yesterday, the 1025. I had said we may, you know, if we got another leg up, that would be where we hit for a retest of the bottom of this rising broadening wedge. I guess we got close enough here to call it done. And obviously we see what happens. So I'm going to get this off of here now. I leave all this stuff on to be transparent so you guys know what I've been saying. And what we were talking about is a break and a daily close above this 105 around the 1055 range 1052 um would be bullish and obviously that did not happen we do have from this swing low down here to the swing high up here our fibonacci retracements um this one is the first one at the 0 0.236 at 8625 which we did go through that we got to bounce off the 200 ema right around and this is on the four hour we got a bounce on the 200 EMA right around the 8140 range. Uh, actually, it was 8100. Got a nice bounce. Do I think that's it? We're going to go up from here. I do not, but we'll talk about that. We could possibly come up and test this 55 EMA on the four hour around the 91 to 9150 range before continuing back down, in my opinion. Um, we could get as high as the 9400 that we were looking at as a possible support for yesterday could come up and test that before coming back down but i do believe we have further to go guys and keep an eye on this rising channel um well first let's talk about the targets uh the first one being if we drop out of this channel first one being 7700 which is the 0.382 fib then we have the 0.5 fib at right around 7000 so between $6,900 and $7,000 range would be support here. The golden retracement is $6,220. Um, so yeah, I believe there's a good possibility. We go down to at least $6,220. If you guys watch my channel, you know I've been watching the $5,400. Uh, the .786 retracement of this whole move would be $5,173. If we drop below that, we could be looking at them lower lows, guys. So as of right now, like I said, I'm still bearish. I believe we are going to eventually drop out of the bottom of this. And the measured move, dropping out of the bottom of this, would, if we were to drop out within the next day or two, um, and it doesn't mean we go to the target the next day or two, that just means that's where the target would be, around the $5,800 range. Um, now, if we can bounce back up and get above back above our EMAs here and get above the 9650 range, if we can break this high, then we could get another attempt at the 10.55. Keep that in mind. It is possible. If that breaks, then we go super bullish. But make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Tick that notification bell and hit all so you get notified when I post new videos. I do updates every single day to try to keep us in line on what's going on with the market. So if we get close to that, you'll be notified in a video um, if I'm around to notify. But anyways, yeah, I'm looking at these 5100 or $5,200 to $6,200 range is where I believe we're going to be headed. Um, again, I could be wrong, but that's what I'm looking at now. I do look for a possible retest of this trend line right here. As you can see, we had one, two, third touch. We sat here for a second last night before breaking through. We could come back up to retest this, so keep an eye on the four-hour um rsi if we come back up to retest this the next day or two i believe we'll have one more shoot down um that's what i'm looking at as of now we were watch watching this rising 
rodening wedge yesterday when we broke out of that that's when this whole fall started so yeah that's what i'm looking at as of right now with bitcoin let's look at litecoin litecoin same thing we have broken the bottom of the channel in litecoin so that tells me that there's a good chance that we're going to do the same in bitcoin um let's take a measured move of where litecoin could be headed if this rising <clears throat> channel plays out could be going down to around the $31 range, between the $30 and $31 range. Um, that would be my my target on the longer term, obviously. We did get our bounce yesterday. We got it right around the $40 range. I do have this major support and resistance line at 41, and we talked about that in yesterday's video. If you guys are interested in trading, I'm gonna leave a Prime XBT tutorial up top. Check it out. Um, if you use my Savvy 50 promo code, you get 50% on top of whatever you deposit as a bonus up to one Bitcoin. If you use Savvy 25, you get 25% off all your trading fees. You can trade Forex, commodities, all kinds of stuff on Prime XBT. It's a great exchange. I also have some other links down there. I have Dudex, which has an awesome um, risk management tool on there. If you guys are interested, check it out and Bybit. All of the exchanges, those are the ones I use. I've used other ones I've had nothing but problems with. I used to have links to. I don't have them anymore because I believe they're garbage. Um, but them are the three best exchanges, in my opinion, to be using. Um, so check them out. They all have bonuses. There's links to them all below. All right. So looking again at where we're at now, um, same thing if, from the swing low to the swing high up here. Here's the Fibonacci retracements. Uh, 4483 range. That may be where we go retest here. That would get us back up to the 200 EMA um, before continuing back down. If we look at the RSI, we have already tested the bottom of this channel, so it looks like we might get a you know a bump up and then come back down for one more test before continuing. We'll keep an eye on it. Let's uh, but yeah, my target for Litecoin, like I said, is between the 30 and I'd say between 30 and 35 because 35 is right at the 0.618 fib, which would be the golden pocket retracement zone. So again, guys, that's what I'm looking at. Of course, unless we break our old highs here, um, then we get bullish. But as of right now, I don't see it happen. I think we have further down to go. Um, Ethereum, same thing. The measured move off the channel, which we did break in Ethereum. <clears throat> we are back inside it or trying to get back inside it right now. But uh, the measured move for that, guys, is down to about the 133 range. Um, the 0.786 here is at 119. The 0.618 is at 142. So I would see us, I'm expecting to come down to at least here. There is also the 0.5 fib that I don't have on here. I don't know why I don't have it on here, but I will put it on here. There is the 0.5 at 159. Whoops. What did I do there? What the? There we go. Let me uh, put that down to the same size as other ones. All right. So anyways, we had a target of a our possible target. If, like I said, if Bitcoin went to its higher target, then we would have came and tested this trend line at 230. Obviously, that did not happen. But as of right now, Ethereum, if it came up and tested its 55 EMA, we'd be looking around the $200 range. Um, looks most likely like if we do continue up, we're probably going to get some rejection around the, around the $200 range all the way, $200 to $205 range before continuing down, I, which I do believe we will. Same thing, um, $142 is the... Let me fix that. I screwed up my... There we go. I totally screwed up my uh, Fibonacci's there. Thought something was weird. Okay. So our next support here is around the 175 range. It's actually 174.61 if that breaks. Then we go to the 0.5 fib at 159. And then our 142 is our 0.16 or 0.618 Fibonacci retracement. And then the 0.786 ultimately is 119. And the same with Bitcoin. If we go down past the 119 and break our lows over here, then we're looking at our lower targets. 
Uh, we have much lower targets. I'll go over them in different videos. But appreciate you guys watching. Don't forget to subscribe by clicking the Crypto Savvy logo above my head. Smash that like button. Leave your comments down below. I appreciate each and every one of you for helping this channel grow. Share the video if you can. If you enjoy them and get something out of them. Um, that's it. Take it easy. Have a great day. I'm out.